Hi guys, it's Brad from Supercar Driver Training and today I find myself at Snetterton. I've come down here to meet some of the guys with all of the Teslas here. We've got a bit of everything here. We've got Model 3s, Performance, Long Ranges, S's, Plaids, a bit of everything. There's a good few different cars here and a good few different guys. This is Richard. Hi. Richard <laughs> has got a group called MT3 UK, which is all about Teslas and modifying Teslas and taking them out on track. And so he's invited me down here today to have a look at the different cars, the modifications they've got, and to try the cars out. And of course, my plaid isn't really ready for the track yet. We haven't got the ceramics on yet. We haven't got all the suspension parts on yet, but it was a good tester to find out the weaknesses and the pluses to having these cars on track. So what car have you got, Richard? And can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, Model 3, performance, not quite finished, front end, 2019. They bought it six years ago and it's now green. What modifications have you got suspension wise? Uh, coilovers. And are these wheels standard? Not standard, no, they're forged TiVo wheels. Anything else on the bodywork that we need to know about? Wrap. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. obviously this, Vinyl is, wrap. this is the standard. Tried to keep the chrome, a lot of chrome. And obviously the bumper is new, but it's not finished, so it's still in its original. How did you find the car on the track today? Good, good. Definitely um, brakes are, you know, you need to do the brakes. I think mine were quite noisy on the track, as you probably noticed, but. Yeah, they were a little um, bit noisy, but they work pretty they well. Work, they work well. Performance wise, no issues, really. With point. It's a heavy car, but you just need to handle it, I think. Just okay. be a bit more careful around that. I mean, for me, for example, with the Plaid, I found that immediately the brakes were overheating. I found that the motors were overheating. I found that it felt quite heavy um, and not as responsive and nimble as I wanted. So these are all the upgrades and changes I want to get made yeah. done to this car. So what ones have you already done to your car? Apart from the coilovers, got adjustable control arms. Oh, okay. Um, so have you done the camber? Camber is set to sort of negative sort of two degrees. Oh, nice. Uh, on the rear, sort of one and a half on the, on the front. Rear, toe and camber again, adjustable arms. Uh -huh. Some upgraded lower arms as well. Did you have any problems with overheating today? With your uh, brakes too hot, your battery's too uh, hot? A couple of times I did have a hot battery. Okay. But that was mainly, I think, due to after supercharging. Right. And then not letting it cool down sufficiently for long enough. Okay. But you didn't have any problems with the motors overheating or losing power? A little bit in the morning, but I think it's just you need to cool, you know, with these, the, the batteries get hot when you're supercharging, so you need to allow, you know, this car's got track mode, so you can turn on track mode and then you've got the AC compressor coming on, so it will cool down a lot quicker. Fantastic. Turned on. Okay, and this is the Model 3 Performance? Model 3 Performance, yeah. Okay, and so you'd say, actually, it could be used as a track car, to be quite fair. Uh, yeah, I think I mean, so. you were doing quite a few laps, you didn't yeah. find any major problems with it. No. Okay, no. great. I think you know, the, the basic stuff, the brakes, I've yep. got graded pads. Yep. I have changed my discs because starting out, they're, they're, they're mandatory, but you know, uh -huh. as you progress, I think you, know, you want to look at the brakes and maybe get slightly bigger discs or a thicker discs with more, more veins. Fantastic. But, um, yeah. What else have we got over here? We've got another, is this another Model 3 Performance? Yeah, another Model 3 Performance, Sid. I mean, this has had a lot of stuff done, on, uh, uh, obviously, of, um, on the outside. Lovely. It's got stickers and all sorts of things. Yeah, it's got Halloween, is, uh, Halloween themed. Quite interesting. Yeah. Actually, I think it might be our cameraman's It might be the cameraman. Car. <laughs> do, you, do you want to tell us anything about the car? He's shaking his head vigorously, so he well, definitely I, I doesn't know, want I to I know pretty much what Sid's done to his oh, car. Oh, fantastic. Will you tell us quickly about so, it? Suspension, mountain pass, comfort coilovers. It's got some adjustable upper control arms. <laughs> Can't remember what else he's done. Okay, camber arms, toe arms. Wow. Similar sort of, you know, to, to myself really, apart from the coilovers are slightly different. And then we've got another Model S Plaid, but pretty much standard. It's got standard brakes, standard wheels, standard everything. So this car actually is not even an English one. So it's left-hand drive like mine, because yeah. all the Plaids are left-hand drive, of course. But um, he's actually brought it all the way over from Ukraine and it's done really, really well on the track today. I'm very, very impressed with it. As a standard car, yeah. it's held up really, really well. And even these tires are Continental, I believe. Contacts, yeah, they did They did a really good job. So I was surprised by how well it performed today. And actually, I think it got one of the quickest lap so, times, yeah. I think, out yeah. of all of the cars as, as a bog standard. And then we move over a little bit more. What else we got over here? So I think this is a uh, Model 3 performance another model 3 performance Similar, like yours like mine but this is mine in 
standard form. Uh, like what it used to look like. Got ya. So, but yeah, I think he had a great time on the track today. Yeah, I think that held up pretty well as well. And then on the end, long range. So what's the difference between the, the performance and long range? The long range know. doesn't have the track mode. Right. The motor is not as quite as powerful on the rear in the long range, but you know, really, on track, I think, you know, the long range is more than capable. Yeah. It's just the lack of track mode on the long range. Not a massive difference on the track, you'd not, say? I don't think you can. It, you it know, was keeping up pretty well with everything same, else. You've got to do the same things on, on the long range of the performance with the brakes, like pretty much any track car. Fantastic. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much for that. I think there was one other car over there that I want to have a quick chat about. It's the previous gen to my one, isn't it? Because my one's yeah. the 2021 onwards, and his is the 2014 pre-facelift. And that's got quite a lot of stuff done to it. So actually, what we're going to do now is we're going to nip over and have a quick chat about that car. So, who are you? I'm Mike. Hi, Mike. Well, tell me more about yourself. Have you got an Instagram handle? Yep, it is... Um... <laughs> is it on the car somewhere? It's on the back of the car. Oh, right, okay, okay. It is uh, Deviant Power Systems. Deviant Power Systems, at Deviant Power Systems. Yeah. Oh, okay, great, 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 and fantastic. And so tell me about this car, because it looks very similar to mine, but then very different in lots of other aspects. Tell me more about it. This started off as a P85. Okay. Um, so rear wheel drive. It's the one that Tesla affectionately know as the Widowmaker. Ah, right, okay. When I started off with it, it was completely standard. And what I've done since is a fairly long list. AC racing, fully adjustable coilovers. Okay. Blue stuff pads on EBC groove discs. Are these standard wheels? They are Vosen VFS ones. Right. With Michelin PS4S tyres. They're 10.5J on the back. Right. Standard, they would have been 9J. Right. Um, they're about the same weight as the Tesla flow formed. Uh, okay. Rims that, uh, and am I right in thinking there's not much in here? <laughs> it's extremely empty. Oh wow, can we have a little look inside? Yep. So, we've got a full FIA MSUK roll cage, six point harnesses, bucket seats. I've taken wow. 400 kilos out of it. You've gone all out. Um, wow. Quick release steering wheel. Okay. In the back, because traction is always an issue with these rear wheel drives, yep. um, it's got a quite limited to slip diff. Okay. And I'm currently having a little chat with a couple of guys over at a company called Steinbauer uh -huh. about getting this up to 600 brake horsepower, 800 newton metres of torque. Wow. So, so what, what's it got at the moment then, more or less? Uh, 450. 450? Yeah, with 600 newton metres. Wow. Okay. So um, it's quite a lot less than the plaid that I've got then, because yes. that's, I think, 1,020 from factory with 1,500 newton metres. But it's also 1,700 kilos as opposed to 2,200. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Half yeah, a yeah. tonne difference. And I've got the four wheel drive, and you've only got the yeah, rear wheel. Exactly. Got, that, you. Yeah. got you, got you, got you. Okay. And then you've also got a different steering wheel here, quick release. Uh, yep. Wow. You've really stripped this out. And then at the front, ah, now this is interesting because my car 100% suffers with heat. The motors, when I've taken it out briefly for some testing, it's overheated immediately. The motors, the battery, everything. So what's this you've done here? That is well, hopefully a solution. The okay. standard radiator that comes on these is full width, right? but it's only 16 mil thick and about yay high. Okay. Holds 500 milliliters of fluid. Nothing. Um, wow. Yeah, whereas this one, it's 80 mil thick. 800 wide, uh -huh. 470 deep, and holds seven litres of fluid. Wow, So that must make a massive difference. Uh, yes. Yeah, and I mean, and today you did a bit of testing, right? Uh, yes, yeah, so from the testing today, we've basically worked out that the battery temperatures are now absolutely where they need to be. Perfect. But the motor is still Too high. cooking up. Yeah. Right, So okay. that's now the, the limit, so. From here, I'm now going to do a little bit of modification on the pump and the cooling side of things. Yeah. Focus on cooling the motor. Okay. Um, and then, when we come back in a, a month or two, we should then be good to give it full More power. Consistent yeah, lap exactly times that, without yes. overheating and so yeah. on. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely something that I'm looking into right now. And I've got a few different companies that are talking about potentially getting a very similar setup to this put into the plaid yep. um, because that heat is a big issue for that car. It, it's always been an issue. Um, um, you know, certainly back in 2017 when Tiffany Dell was reviewing the electric GT um, Tesla P100D Ludicrous, yeah. Yeah. they noted that within a couple of laps yeah. that was it, it overheated, which is why I started looking at doing this. Got you. And hopefully moving forward it becomes a solution. Yeah, I mean, it's a really smart solution. I, I mean, to be honest, I'd never, I thought about doing it to my car. I'd never, never seen anyone else do it. I never knew it was even available. And now to actually see someone that, that's done it and telling me it's actually working is, is really great news. It's fantastic. What about the suspension thing? So I'm seeing some pretty old rusty parts here. <laughs> they're not actually that old. They're not they're, actually that old. They're, they're done maybe a couple of years. Oh, okay. But 
And they're, they're, they're just standard? Yes. They're yeah. not upgraded at all? Not uh, power flex, no, no, they, these aren't. Um, on the back, it's got adjustable tow arms, adjustable camber arms. Got ya. Are you going to be upgrading these, do you think? Uh, at to some point, yeah. A bit, I'll, I'll go hard a bit, a bit tighter? Yep. Okay, lovely. Great, fantastic. Well, I mean, this looks the absolute part, and you're obviously well on cue to getting this done and uh, made into a real track weapon. And surely you don't drive this as a daily, right? Oh, yeah. You drive this as a daily 20, as well? Yeah, 20,000 miles a year I'm putting on this. Bloody hell. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I'm guessing then you've got the free supercharging, right? Yes. So yeah, so basically free fuel forever. Oh, yeah, 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 completely. Fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've done 165,000 miles for free with this wow. over the last nine years I've had it. So this makes this actually a really affordable track car. Oh, financially, it makes perfect sense. Wow, fantastic. Well, yeah. this is great to see today. I mean, this really makes me think about the things that I'm going to get done to my car for sure. And um, yeah, I really appreciate you showing me around the car and letting me have a look at it today and even a quick drive, which was very nice. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. And I'm glad that I'm now part of this Tesla group and uh, I will be definitely coming on to do more uh, track day stuff with you guys. Excellent. Thank so you. yeah, thank you very much for uh, showing me this today and helping me out. And it was a real pleasure to okay. meet you. Thank you. So guys, again, if you want to learn more about these Tesla track cars, and you want to learn more about the track plaid build, please remember to subscribe, like, comment, ask questions, and if you want to join the group, send a request. You've got Facebook, you've got Instagram, you've got everything, and these guys are all super nice. They've been so welcoming today. I've never really been a Tesla guy. I've always called them milk floats, but Jesus, are these things quick when you get them set up right. Anyway, see you again soon. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.